Hey everybody, thanks so much for coming out tonight. You could call them an overnight success. Yeah, well, it feels remarkably different from a couple of years ago when uh, there was like eight people in a cafe and nobody was listening. But that would dismiss the two decades of work Shunker Tucker has put into his craft. After spending years learning Western classical music, Tucker developed an interest in Indian classical music, exploring the genre while still in high school. I was really into jazz improvisation, and I always found that clarinet is not really a great fit for a jazz ensemble. I was always struggling to be heard. So I, uh, I discovered some recordings of Hari Prasad Shirazia and John McLaughlin's Remember Shakti recordings, and from there I kind of uh, I was introduced to the style of Hindustani improvisation. I found it fascinating, and throughout school I decided that, you know, I wanted to learn this and do this full time. Tucker received a scholarship to develop his talent further in India after graduating from the New England Conservatory, an experience that led him to reconstruct his playing style. So it was especially a struggle for me because, you know, I'm a Westerner trying to play Indian classical music, also on a Western instrument. There was really no clear role models on people who had really done that. Now the 26-year-old uses a blend of tech and social media savvy to share his love of Hindustani classical music with the world. And the rest is, well, destiny. Just months after releasing his first video, Tucker's work garnered millions of views on YouTube from folks enchanted by his blend of East and West. With his collaborations with friends on covers of songs by A.R. Rahman, and Adele, Junker Tucker is truly a budding star, traveling the world, headlining national events like India Spora, and giving TED Talks about how to make it as an independent so, artist. The only reason I'm here today is because of my YouTube channel. My name is Shankar Tucker. I'm a clarinetist and a composer. Currently, he's on a global tour funded by supporters on the website Kickstarter. I figure if we can raise $40,000 on Kickstarter, that'll be enough to get the album complete. Some of the money raised will go towards his new album scheduled for release in 2014. And all of the songs will be available to download for free. One could imagine this rise to fame could get to a young man's head, but Shankar, who was given his name by the guru known as Amma as a child, appears to be on a mission to connect East and West, using soulful music to capture hearts and minds.